The views, comments, and opinions of the following program do not necessarily reflect those of Morris Media Studios, MorrisMediaLive.com, or its affiliates. Listener discretion is advised. Yo, 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 welcome back to the Only Hip Hop Show with the only motherfucking hip hop squad. Okay. I'm so used to camera over here, but the camera's right here. So, welcome back to the Only Hip Hop Show with the Only Hip Hop squad. This is LP, man. LaRon Pierce, the lyrical renegade in this piece. Tune in to the motherfucking EP, The Lost Files, my. You know what? I ain't gonna say the name word. That's what that myself. Uh, yeah, the Lost Files. Okay. The Lost Files of the Lyrical Renegade Project. Sneak drop. That shit is cut, bro. I see. But anyways, shout out to Sean August and Aisha Nubian yes. from the hey. Only Hip Hop Squad. Talk to me, y'all. What's hey. going on? <laughs> I had to take a sip of water, my nigga. on fire. That's how you I'm on fire right now. Water. I'm lit for the Lord. Lit, Jesus Christ. Lit for Jesus the Lord. Jesus King. But hey, now. Fuck me. My name is... um. I don't even matter. Uh, hey now, hey love. now. I used to know you. Finger waves. How to do, friend? She brought the finger <laughs> waves do, back. Friend? Yeah. Shout out to Olu. Hey. Shout, shout out to Ben. Shout out. LP. LP. What it do? P in the back, pressing hey. them buttons. I hey, seen her in the hey, back, hey, pressing hey, buttons hey, for a little bit. Nigga. All together. I want to say, long story short, is the energy is here. Yes. The spirit is in the city. Yes. Touch somebody, love somebody. Yes. Jesus King is out. Yes. Y'all know he my favorite artist. I think I I'm could. sorry, but the clips killed like it I- in a gospel song. That I'm was sorry. Live. Shout out to Malice. Shout no out to Malice. Pusha T. No, no, it's no Malice. No malice. no malice. He's a Christian rapper now. He gave his life to God before Kanye, you know, because he, he was a dope dealer. Out of retirement. That's what is big. he? That's epic. Fuck this. That's epic. What's going on with you, dog? Hey, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. That's happy what I'll say. Sunday. Everything is going great. Everything is going good. If it's going good, bow your heads right now in Jesus' yeah. name. Aisha about to lead us in prayer. Oh my goodness, <clears throat> that's a sneak one. But Sneaky. here we go. Lord, thank you for bringing us here together. We pray for an awesome show. We pray that people are fulfilled with laughter, entertainment. We pray that our audience and our guests have a great time, and we pray for hip-hop. Amen. Amen. God bless hip-hop. God bless hip-hop. Keep it just like that. Hey, every Sunday, 6 to 7, yes. y'all know who it is. Yes, uh, yes. Facebook Live, mm-hmm. YouTube, mm-hmm. Instagram. The pulpit uh-huh. is hot. Fire. We lit in the name of the Lord. <laughs> All right, what's up? Okay, so... I guess that's us going straight into what it do, right? Hell yeah. What it Unless do, you friend. want to talk about revolt. Unless no, you want to talk no, about revolt. Wait, no, hold on. Okay, hold on. Hell no, I'm waiting. So you guys are already kind of on it. I want to talk about uh, Jesus King. Jesus King. Now, uh, I haven't even heard it yet. I like to like kind of listen to things when the hype dies Respect. down. So I'm not, so my opinion isn't tainted in a sense. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I, I read a lot of mixed reviews. A lot of mixed reviews. And I wanted to know what you guys thought about it. I know. LP, you want to talk about Jesus is King? Cause Give me a second. Go ahead. I was talk. at the listening party when he first played it. I, I mean, saw that. Shout out to it being free. Shout out to... Hey, before forget all that. Listen. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, trust yourself. If you believe that you a child of the king, yeah. I've been told you you was a god a long time ago. And it took me this long to really, really, really be confident in that. But trust me, if you are a child of the king, really go. Jesus is king. God is his daddy. So God is the real one with the real blessing. So make sure you pray to everybody. And make sure you please listen to Jesus King. Um, rap bars there. Production okay. there. Everything. Ty Dollar Sign there. <laughs> Fred Hammond there. <laughs> Kenny G there and he performed today. Clips there. What else you want to say? Sunday pusher. service. Shout out to all my niggas in the choir, all my niggas in the band. Bro, I'm feeling good, bro. Jesus is king out now. Go get that. Okay, so I'm assuming you loved it. Hell Perfect. yeah. yeah it was I'm in love with everything. Project, I love everything right now. Though. It was an amazing project, but I wasn't really I wasn't really figuring it. <laughs> I mean, digging his uh lyrical st- uh lyrical Whoa, you better though. check that. No, I, I, I charged what the I charged because I can't be on Dancing with the Stars. Hey, ah, you better look at I'm that. I'm sorry, boy. but Clips, Clips is just a highlight of the of the fucking whole yeah. project. I'm sorry. Yeah, you really he, with that rap bar yeah, shit. Yeah, they they have the whole project. I mean, especially no malice. You know, what I mean, 
it just gave me the chills, you know what I'm saying? His verse was killer. Okay, well, okay. Well, we need to a, open the doors of the church after this. Those are perfect teasers. I'm definitely going to take a listen. Um, now, one other thing that was concerning to me was why it wasn't considered a gospel album. Um, I know I saw that a lot of reviews about that because it was titled uh, Hip Hop. And I don't think that's what he was on. It was, and I kind of feel like why not respect the fact that he's changing or he's turned a leaf in a sense? Um, why does it have to be that he's still categorized under a hip hop artist? But you know, that's just my opinion. You I guys definitely you. give yours. I know you went to Sunday service. Facts. Amen. Spill the beans. Um, How was it? I wasn't there. You know what? Sunday service was amazing. The first thing I want to highlight is even with the listening party. At the listening party, I was smoking weed. You know what I'm saying? And it was like gossip. That's all you do is smoke weed. And I was like, ooh, am I supposed to be smoking weed in here? But yeah. I wasn't the only one. You okay. feel me? So I felt good. And it was next to old people, young people, uh, um, new people, people that hate Kanye, people that love Kanye, ministers. We were smoking weed, people was drinking, people was eating. It was just a mixture of all kind of races, creeds, colors, heights, weights. It don't matter. And we was all just vibing to music. And that goes back to what we said four, six, 20 episodes ago. Music is going to bring us together. together. It's mm. going to bridge the gaps that no other industry can. So please use your powers. But Sunday service was amazing. I know it's on YouTube somewhere, so you could use that and look it up. Perfect. Now let's talk about the mm. Revolt Summit. Is it not a go? It's such a go, right? It's a go. Okay, awesome. Such a perfect opportunity to network. Great vibes. Also, awesome people that were speaking. Issa Rae. Who'd you see? Um, I saw Jizzle. I saw James Fauntleroy. I saw uh, Snoop Dogg. Mm. Um, who else did I see? So a lot of yeah. great names, basically. Ice Cube, TD, I didn't Diddy. see you. You're going to see? Are you going back after this? No. I gave my bracelet away. Well, then Wait, it's still gonna... going? Yeah, three days. Okay, well, you shouldn't have got your bracelet. Gift. You should have tapped in. If it's gifted, you give it. You feel me? <laughs> give what you need. That's what the message was about today. Give so, what you need. Okay, you on the right vibe. I guarantee you. You ended to win, friend. So, look. Hey, friend. Not only, <laughs> not only the speakers, the performances were awesome. If you couldn't make it, definitely make it next year. At the end of the day, it's a perfect opportunity. LA is where it's at, yo. It is. It LA is, is where it's at. Everybody that be talking mess, LA is so where it's at. And uh, don't play to us. the people that, that 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 think LA is too hard, cause you got more chance of going homeless than becoming a celebrity in this motherfucker. <laughs> so I know a lot of motherfuckers is throwing the towel in. Y'all ready to give up? Don't. Give I want to encourage y'all, but I understand, cause it's hard out here. But LA is the place to be. Mm -hmm. Facts. All right, this has been your segment of what to do. Call in if you want to share your opinion. Three two three. Patriot gang. Three three seven five. <laughs> Patriot gang, Laker gang. Clipper gang, cause I fuck with Kawhi. Man, that nigga look like Kobe. The fuck the Clippers lost to the Suns. Like cause LeBron didn't play defense, but I yelled at him. Hey, we. Hey, I'm that here. Is Laker fans, bro. I'm here. We changing the whole narrative in LA. The spirit is here, and we not gonna let y'all down again. Every Sunday, six to seven. Hey. Y'all know me. Y'all know the love. Hey, hey friend. And you also know, know me, LP. Check out the Lost Files. You beanie man. I didn't even know that was an <laughs> album. You dropped some shit and snuck that shit out. I sent it to you. No damn promotion. It. I did promote it. What the fuck? Ooh, what's up with my Instagram? My algorithms is off. I don't uh, see none of y'all on my timeline. We're going to fix that today. All right, we'll be right back, y'all. Only squat. Only squat? The only hip-hop show. The only hip-hop squat. <laughs> the only squat. fucking hip-hop squad. What the, the only hell? Squad. I like that, too, though. The only squat? I like that. Hey, we'll be right back, y'all. break. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome back to the only hip-hop what the fuck? Only See? Hip -hop. What the hell? We Welcome to be back to the Squire. Only Hip Hop Jeez. Show with the Only Hip Hop Squad. Squire. Now, <laughs> let me let me you pause. You need to do that for, over. Let me let me pause. Let me pause the beat for a minute. Rest in peace. You know, I'm a huge hip hop head, right? I'm a lyricist, right? Mm -hmm. So, Facts. here's the thing. Go off. We, Sean. I don't know how much history you learned from hip hop and mm -hmm. rap, but back in the 70s, man, like Cool Herc created hip hop actually from from um from New York, you man. Agree with that? Just, I agree with that. Yes. Yeah, so um <laughs> just hearing a lot of like rappers back in the day like Biz Marquee to um Big Daddy Kane to mm -hmm. Rock Kim mm -hmm. and um the list goes on. Rock Shan, uh, Roxanne Shantae, you know what I mean? 
And um, I just wanted to properly introduce to the, this gentleman. Um, he's an author that um, is um, it's a historian that actually just created um, a book, actually. We're going to go ahead and talk about it from Cold Chilling Records that was mm. – was founded by um, Tyrone and uh, I forgot his first name. I call I him. Them. Yeah, Len Fitchelberg. Len Fitchelberg. Yeah, and um, um, yeah, and an artist was there like Biz Marquis, um, Cool G Rap, mm. um, Roxanne Shante, and um, the Jizza. Jizza, yeah, Jizza from Wu Tang. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna probably introduce. Without further ado. Let's welcome Ben Merlis in the building. Shout out to Ben. Hey, shout out to Ben. Thanks for having me. So I'm going to go ahead Did and start it off. Did he the instrumental man. back? Wow. <laughs> you on your shit today, boy. Hey, but check this out, man. I just wanted to go ahead and start it off, man. So, Ben, um, so how long have you been a historian for hip-hop? Historian. Well, it's... A- I'd like to think that uh, the the minute I first heard hip hop, I was taking notes mentally mm. the way a lot of people are, and that would have been in the mid '80s when I was a small child yeah. <laughs> in Los Angeles. Mm. Yeah, was so. that a good enough answer for you? <laughs> you want to know? No, no, like, no, no, no. Like, I'm just want to hear what book. you got to say. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, this is my. First I got book. hella questions, so I'm I'm a little selfish. <laughs> Hold that shit book. up. Hold that shit up. Hold that shit up, because we about to get rude and disrespectful in this <laughs> motherfucker. All right, Ben? You ready? I know we went to church. Shout out to church. Whoa, 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 whoa. Go ahead, I already go ahead. told you, wait. I already go told ahead. you what this man does and what he is. So he got to tailor his answer. I'm not tailoring my question. I'm rude, Ben. Yes. Who the fuck are That's you, That's what bro? I said. Tell me. I just said. Can I get he... it from him? Can I get some quotes? Can I get some clip bites? <laughs> What's up, Ben? Talk to me. I'm a music publicist. Okay. Who, and I'm also a music writer. Yes. And this is the, the first book I've ever written. Okay. Right awesome. here in my hands. Hand. It's called Going Off, The Story of the Juice Crew and Cold Chillin' Records. It comes out November 5th yeah. on BMG Books. Hey. And you can buy this. Oh, yeah. You can pre-order this Juice now on Amazon. And... I have events to plug, but we can get to that later. Of course. Okay. Anyway, oh, yeah, yeah. that's what I was going to ask you. You said yeah. BMG, uh, is yeah. that, but it's everywhere. It's distributed everywhere. Exactly. Okay, cool. Yeah. That's, uh, gotcha. Okay, yeah. so Ben is here. See, you didn't even say music ben writer, right. you know what I mean? Yeah. Music let, him, writer, yeah. let him get that eloquence off, you feel me? That's right. I mean, I'm just I was going to let him talk about, about himself. I mean, I got you. this is just what I know, what I research, you know what I'm saying? Thank you, <laughs> Ben. Thank you for coming, man. And Thanks I, for having me. I envy you 100%. For having an author, being an author, you know, adding that to your resume, you know, well, I appreciate it. Absolutely. <laughs> so I want to ask you about before we get into your journey with hip hop for the nerds out there. I want to get into the process of the book. What happened? What day was it where you were like, hey, I need to do this. And what day did you start doing it? OK, uh, that go- would go back to the summer of 2017. Okay. Uh, I met someone I was thinking about. The Juice Crew and Cold Chillin' Records a lot and how someone should make a documentary about them. And I thought to myself, that seems like a very, very tall mountain to climb. Right. Maybe a shorter mountain to climb would be writing a book about it. And then I bumped into someone at a party who works for BMG who said, I'm starting a series of books. Each book is each book is about a different record label. And I said, do you have any mm. uh, hip hop record labels uh, queued up for this series. The series is called RPM. This is the third third book let of that series. That. Let me check that out. Yeah. Let me hold up. And he said no, and I said, Yeah, let me see too. I know the record label that should be about Cold Chillin'. There's never been a book about Cold Chillin' before. Never. It's never. Yeah. Very important. Uh, and it's rarely mentioned, dude. Yeah, Why? it's a very important Look record label. Cover, and um, and so uh, I ended up volunteering myself to be the guy that write to, to write that book. And then by October of 2017, I had a book deal, and I started interviewing people uh, at the end of that month. So about exactly, probably exactly two years ago today, I started interviewing people and I got about three dozen people uh, that I interviewed between the recording artists themselves, DJs, producers, yeah. rappers, people who worked at the label, pe- people who owned the label, uh, people who worked at Warner Brothers Records, who was who was the distributor of Cold Chillin, uh, people who worked and owned worked at and owned other record labels at the time like Tommy Boy and Tough City. Niggas and, don't know about that. Yeah, nope. yeah. So and and, and 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 what's sad is I loved hip hop for a long time, but I really and literally, I don't even know if that's the right way to use literally, but I I had to go back to school yeah. to get studied on that. You know, yeah. so I had to sit there and do assignments to really 
give a fuck about the journey that was trailblazed you know right. way before we had anything to do with yeah. it yeah you know what i'm saying so i want to thank you for even having yeah. enough love in your heart to dig and en- enough to come out with a book you know well thanks i appreciate Absolutely. it and, and it's and it is a labor of love certainly i mean it is yeah, yeah. Yeah. History, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's a, it shows that you had a lot of love because the cover is nice uh, yeah, yeah. the colors the texture uh-huh. you feel me and i feel like it looks like it'll be a great read i'm really excited for you thank you i want to be real with you ben because let me be real again I, so I told guys you, this I, is the I, cover i envy you right there yeah, it is nice look at that, that shit is beautiful and the yes. reason it's uh blue and pink is because cold chillin records uh down. their label sleeves 12 inch uh, record sleeves were uh, blue and pink, so we kept in theme That's with the class. with the That's label. Yeah, I don't think t-shirt. anybody did did that. The bone. Are you the first bone. edition of the RPM series, or what's yeah. What yeah, book is this? This is number three in the RPM nice. series. But it's the first hip, it's the first hip hop book. Not, yeah. Okay. So, what are the in, other in two? Series. What are the previous two? Do they even matter right now? Uh what was that? Do they even matter right now or are we just Well, I mean Okay, yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. What are, what are sub, the other two? Sub pop and specialty. Oh no, sub pop and the second one yeah, they was don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Specialties number four. It comes out the same day as this one. Um, Excello Records. Oh, no. A blues label from the 50s and 60s blues, was Excello. And Sub Pop was the I'll label Nirvana was on originally. So those were the first two of the series. Let me um, yeah. let me get back to the real rude shit. All right? <laughs> yeah. Because, again, I'm, I'm going to say myself. Right. Facts. <laughs> facts. Um, I envy you 100%. I envy every author in the world. But niggas don't read mm. you know and i say that to ask you why did you do that did you see how the what? deep breath he took it's real it's real shit and it's unfortunate that's why he did that because did. it's unfortunate <laughs> but with that said i ask you which who's your audience well even if you don't read okay I want you to know. Sell it. There is a 16, 16 page Look, get em. color come photo on, spread you Instagram in the middle of the book. Fit. So you don't have to know how to read and you can still enjoy these can photographs they double, of Bismarck can they e, scroll? and MC Shan. Can and they scroll? Directions. Turn the page. They've never seen the page turn. Turn the page Shut front, Ben. And speaking of MC so, Shan, stop he's stop actually it. a part of, uh, and there's he's actually part of the, part of the label G. as well. But yeah, back to that, man, like uh, for MC Shan and um, Boogie Down Productions on um, the beef around that time, man, what, what do you take on that? Well, it was one of the first significant uh, beefs in, in hip hop, <laughs> and it kind of set the precedent for lots of that kind of thing to come for years to come. And yeah. you, it's one of the you still see it every day today. I mean, you know, Drake is in has uh, diss tracks against other rappers, you know, it's oh, yeah. it's. It's just a part of the hip hop landscape now, and and you know there was a time when it when it really wasn't. Jesus is King is out. So first off, I want to say Drake, we forgive you for all your pettiness. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you. I should have asked you. This should have been a first question before you got on the pulpit. You know, because right now I'm feeling energy. Are you a Kanye West fan? No, I'm not. You don't like Kanye? Come West? on, you John. Not, Kanye West not everybody's a Kanye West fan. I'm not even you a see fan. The I'm a fan for of dramatic. <laughs> That's gonna be a clip. Why not? He supports Donald Trump. Okay. Mm. That bothers like me. Bo- yeah, that bothers, bothers he me. He loves Donald Trump. <laughs> That's Damn. why nobody Who likes Kanye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, All right. It's tough. Yeah. It's hard to get past that. Yeah. Right now, Ben. I'm gonna call you Ben Murr. Can I call you Ben Murr? You can call me that. Yeah, All sure. Right. Ben Merlis, Ben Murr. No one's ever called me that before. Yeah, Ben, ben Murr. Murr. I like yeah. Ben Murr. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, Ben Murr. <laughs> Top five, fresh off mine, right now. Rappers, dead or alive. Let's go. Number one, Big Daddy Kane, mm. who was on Cold Chillin' and I interviewed. He was actually the first nice. rapper I interviewed for the book. Mm-hmm. Uh, number two, Rakim, who okay. has Legendary. has a book of his own out yeah. right now. I went to his book signing oh, at Book yeah, Soup right. a few weeks ago, like and I met him. Ago, yeah. right? Oh, uh, Number three, Cool G Rap, also uh, was a recording artist for uh, Cold Chillin, also in the Juice Crew, and I interviewed him as well for the book. Number four, LL Cool J. Okay. Wow. Ooh. Taking that. Yeah. Ooh. Pause. Taking that. And you know, that. a lot of people think of him as an actor now, or mm-hmm. a host of a lip sync battle show, <laughs> and all these things. Oh, no. You know, well, generations still of people. Do for yeah. you, baby. He still but, got bars. Yeah. Go back to those early know. records. Don't say steel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Steel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> no, I heard and this shit now. But. Wrap it up. Number five, Pulse. the DOC. 
You know him? Ooh. Okay. No one, no one can do it better. Yeah. Erica, oh, shout out to Erica. Right. Erica, hey, we love you. Yeah. We all in this Badu thing Erica, together. Shout out to DLC, right. man. Absolutely. Man. I'm not I'm not mad I'm at you. He got his far. voice back, though. <laughs> shout out to DLC. With yeah, that was yeah. pretty tragic. He lost his voice after recording the first album. So. Yeah. All right. Oh, wow. But he's, still, he's a lyricist. He wrote a lot of lyrics, I believe, for Dr. Dre mm -hmm. and other Death Row recording artists in the 90s. But that first album where he still has his voice is incredible and actually work by the the statue of jesus where the record cover photo was taken it says king of kings lord of lords on it you and i drive by shit. that every day you know your and shit. i want to get and i'm like one of these days i'm gonna stop and get my I, I took a selfie like years ago on a horrible you know flip phone but i gotta Can't do it again no i gotta do a proper top, proper selfie in front of that statue no more selfies. replicating the uh mm -hmm. okay i'll get someone else to get yes. it. <laughs> there, no you more selfies. there you go <laughs> Put the gram away, man. It's the perfect time to take a break. Listen, I'm gonna over this break right now. I'm gonna like whisper in Ben Murray's ear, pause, and try and get him to listen to this album. But I know y'all outside have or y'all should because it's just a great piece of the generation. It's a great piece of time. You know, forget how great the music is because I'm biased. Lyrics, forget all that. But make sure you experience this. Don't freaking, uh, what is it called? Mistreat yourself. What is it called? Mm -hmm. Don't treat, beat yourself. Treat, treat yourself. yourself. Yeah, Don't please. Hip hop is giving LL Cool J another job. It's giving Nick Cannon jobs. It's right. putting people in movies. It's giving us shit to talk about. It's giving books, uh, putting books on the shelves. Right. We are changing the world, and hip hop is starting it all. So I want to thank y'all for tuning in. We coming right the fuck back. Ben Murr. Peace. Yo, yo, yo. yo. Welcome start. back to the Only Hip Hop Show with the Only Hip Hop Squad. <laughs> I just want to go on record and say, everybody, thank you for tuning in to yes, the Only Hip Hop Show. Um, every you. six, every Sunday, six to seven, uh, Facebook <laughs> Live, uh, YouTube. Um, before I even go f further, shout out to Morris Media, man. Shout because out to Morris Media. I don't know what is wrong with poets because we are crazy, you right. know, and we're rowdy and we're rude and we have crazy people on the pulpit, you know, and we have fun and I can't man, thank her shout enough. Out to so OG shout out Paul to OG Poet. Shout out to Sheena Lester for Sheena. plugging us up with this guest right here, you know what I'm saying? With this Long history, care, don't care. You know oh. what I mean? Hey, we here, Ben Murr. We got the love. <laughs> Hey y'all. Um, what is it, friend? Hey, um, I need to get into it because I have been dissatisfied with hip hop for a long time. Right. So am um, I. And I get stones thrown at me and niggas top five when they come here be like, what the hell are you talking about? Like what about? do they say? Little baby. Um, little baby. Uh -huh. What else have we heard? Um it's, it's not Very even worth nostalgia. repeating or remembering. Or it's, remembering. But it is on our timeline. So please go check our timeline. J. Right. Cole. Uh -huh. we've, heard, hey. we've heard J. Cole. Uh -huh. that you don't like me. J. Cole? Kendrick. Uh -huh. And shut up, before we go further, please go look at our YouTube because um, we, I did ask uh, Glasses Malone about his feelings about people saying Kendrick in the top five. And that is definitely an oh, interesting yeah, gave, clip. You know? So your top five was up there. But again, going with that, we've had an agreement on hip hop is taking a, you know, a back step. Not the ladies. Shout out to the ladies. They're doing their shit. Yeah. But lyrically, Message wise, it's kind of taking a step back. So I would, I'm just throwing that on the table, and I would love to starting with you. I right, with your opinion on it, and then let's pass it to Ben Murray. Um. Okay. What's the exact question? Because I could go on and on. I just want to hear your take on hip hop taking its step back. Do you agree with that, or you don't agree oh, with that I, compared no, to these days? No, I'm yeah. definitely that's out. I'm over it yeah. because, like you said, hip hop has opened so many doors for us, it's an, and it's so important. And like I've heard artists say they learned about God from hip hop and just <clears throat> all yeah. these great people that they may have not have ever read about, you know, That's, because what did you say? Niggas don't read. I say I'm gonna get a shirt that say that. You know, so the fact that um now hip hop is just so it's just it's a joke now. It's, it's like it's the, a joke. It's like this, and I totally agree, and I'm really disappointed in hip hop right now. Especially the way it's going and how Radios are playing the same music that with no substance. You know, hip hop was really based on the elements that we actually grew up on. Facts. DJing, b boying, graffiti. Graffiti. What was the MCN. MCN. <laughs> but the last thing that I'm disappointed of and the lack a lack of one element that everybody's lacking of is knowledge. I'm way mm. disappointed. 
so, Mr. Diddy right up. I can't believe you said that, dog. I'm so mad at you for that. Okay. Hey, listen. I need to hear your take. You took. You had to sit down with some of the legends in right. our game. Yeah. So how do you feel? Do you think hip hop took a step back lyrically? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, 100. percent I mean, even within the last five years, you mm -hmm. hear you have the. And of course, anyone watching this don't like. My opinion doesn't matter. Like, who, care, who cares <laughs> what I think, right? We put the disclaimer in the beginning. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Listen to what you want to listen to. Who cares what I think? But, uh, you know, the mumble rap thing, it's like there's not much lyricism really in a, a lot of that. Yeah. So you don't, you don't have... Uh, a lot of the people I wrote about kind of pushed... Uh, um, the envelope as far as lyricism goes mm -hmm. and then and and it kind of maybe reached an apex i wouldn't put a date on it but yeah it definitely has 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 fallen off in the past several years mm -hmm. it, it, but you know having lots of words in every verse is doesn't necessarily <laughs> make a song good so right. it does not yes. so. it does not it could be a whole bunch of bs yeah uh, yeah a lot of the time what do you think um, I, I 100% think I've been disappointed for a long time. Um, I don't know how we get back to it, but I'm going to go with what Leron said. Like, if we learn, if we pick up the books, that would expand our vocabulary. Which is knowledge. And maybe we can yeah, get better can words in our raps yes. or like, like, yay in the album. Sorry to say yay, but he said in document it in the new album. I never heard that, you know, but I would never hear that from... Right. You know but what I'm saying? Can, can you say that there, um, you don't like any new artists right now? No, I definitely have Guilty Pleasures, and that was my next question. I like Young Thug. I like... Are um, you serious, bro? I love Young Thug. I love Thug. Little Yachty. It's a, are y'all serious? Who are you like? Little Yachty? Guilty Pleasure? Are y'all serious right Guilty Pleasure? Pleasure. Guilty pleasure. What show is this? Lil Nas X. <laughs> I'll take Lil Nas X. <laughs> but you know what? I listen to him, and I don't think I don't think this is hip-hop. I don't that put him in the same good, category though. as, like, you know, Cool G Rap or somebody. No. But I like some of his songs, so whatever. I like <laughs> my Guilty <laughs> Pleasure is 6 9 yeah, I like oh, six nine. Six nine. Oh, yeah. Pause. Whoa. You're right. You're right. Pause. You're right. You're, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Whoa. The music no is cool though. The music is cool. Yeah, it's fire. And that's probably why yeah, he did another it, record like... deal. Cause people, that's how people think. Like we him? don't care. I don't know if he's oh. out, but mm. are you familiar with the whole six nine story? A little bit. My friend Sean Sotero uh, works uh, writes for Complex, and he mm. actually sat in on the courtroom like every single day and and did courtroom <laughs> updates for Complex. Dot com and so That's I read so his cool. things and yeah yeah he he has he has crazy stories about that but I, I haven't been like paying very close attention to it because you know I don't listen to this this guy's music a lot of people are in you know right are, are in uh, in jail for lots of things so it's it, I guess I'd pay closer attention if it Turn was if, if I was a fan of his in the first place or something. What's I'm sorry but yeah. I listen to Pusha T yeah. I listen to uh, Child Push. Yeah, I listen to Pusha T, man. That's mainly the rappers that I listen to right now because I don't listen to any other rappers, you know what I mean? I think it's cool that you got a friend that work at Complex. Like, Writers. We all need to go on a little lunch or something. I know. <laughs> ben, what's your favorite book? My favorite book? Um, the People's History of the United States of America by Howard Zinn. <laughs> it's about this thick, and it's about the history of the United States. Got it. <laughs> I don't know if it's my favorite book, but it's an important book. But that's that the first one that popped in mind. That's so. the first one that popped in yeah, my mind. It, it's defined. <laughs> I, I trust you. Um, Wait, before we answer that question, what is everybody's favorite books? Because my favorite book is uh, Letters to a Young Brother by Hill Harper, um, Soldier X by, um, I don't know what to say his name wrong, but his last name is Dofferson. And um, my favorite book is uh, also um, The Outsiders. Mm -hmm, yeah, that's one. that. That's fire. And uh, the Great Gatsby. And um, what was that? I saw other the movie Great Gatsby. Um, I forgot the other book. It was. It's about it's about a church and hypocrites. I forgot what it's called. But <laughs> it is. It's actually a movie back in the day. What they made a they made a, a movie mm -hmm. of, of a book. But I forgot what it's called. Mm -hmm. It just slipped out of my tongue. Like, uh. you but yeah. So I have uh, I have a uh, my favorite book about hip hop is called. The Big Payback, The History of the Business of Hip Hop, and it's mm. by a guy named Dan Charnas. And it's also a book that's about that thick. It's about as thick as people's Thicker history the United States. And this book, The Big Payback, is so interesting because 
he interviewed all the people who own the record labels, a lot of the same people I interviewed, and uh, he got this, you know, expansive history from the very beginning of hip hop to modern times. And and I actually talked to him on the phone before I wrote this book, mm -hmm. just saying, what should I know? Like, you know, uh, give me some pointers or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he was a nice guy. And, and um, it's like, uh, I got to give him a copy of this, see what he thinks of this. But it's his book is just... It's about six times as thick as my book and whatever. I was it's really going to ask you, what was your process for writing this book? Like, how did you yeah. start? So the first thing I did was I tried to get as many people on the phone as possible, uh, as quickly as possible, and interview them. And then I had to transcribe the interviews. And I wanted to get someone to do that for me. And I tried having getting transcription software, which does not work at all. Because <laughs> when people talk, they go, um, uh, like, um, mm -hmm. uh, uh, and, and, the, and the software goes, um, uh, like, um, um, uh, you know. So you have to take all that out. Right. So, so it takes like... For every hour of, of um, audio I had from interviews, it took three hours to transcribe. So it's l it took months. And then finally, when I get all the stuff transcribed, I have to piece together the uh, the story so that you know all these pieces of interviews kind of line up to tell the story I want to tell. So I had an outline, and then I took. I, and then I broke out like quotes from people by topic and then put them into separate files. It was painstaking. I mean, mm -hmm. it, it was, it's, it's not easy. And then I had to actually write the book. So it took like six months to interview everyone and transcribe the interviews and another six months to write the book and then another maybe month to edit after that. So it took, you know, over a year and then it took two years for it to actually come out from, from starting, from start to finish. So. Not so easy. Jealous. Right, <laughs> I'm so you're jealous. Of, jealous I had man. to. You're jealous of a guy sitting at home going, uh, tr <laughs> transcribe. Yeah, man. If you only knew, I'll tell you after. after okay, off okay. Camera. You know right. what? Let me ask so this real jealous, quick. Bro. Let me ask this real quick. So, uh, are we gonna come out? Are is it? Is it? Um, you guys are coming out with the um, documentary for um, Cold Chilling Records. Oh, I have no idea. I don't. Know, be I nice. don't know. Yeah, that would be nice. Yeah. Yeah, that would be That'd nice. That'd be cool. I'm about to ask you like you're about to drop an album. You said it comes out November November 5th? Yes, the 5th. 5th. All right. Yeah. Nice. So, what do you want people to take away? Well, I want people to attend the book signing, which is actually November 1st this Friday at uh, Artform Studio in Highland Park, and that's going to be with me, Cut Chemist, Peanut Butter Wolf, and Marley Marl. So I be needing places mm. to, hey, at 7.30 p.m. Follow me on Art Form Studio. Hello. You follow back? Huh? You follow you back? follow back on Instagram? I, on Instagram? Yeah. Always. All right, for sure. I'm yeah. about to follow you right now because I'm All on right. a mission to I get 3,000 followers by the end <laughs> of the year. It's on my goal. So listen, here's the thing. <laughs> I need to ask you about social. We ask all the artists. She is mastering the love over uh -huh. there. She yeah. has mastered this social networking thing. You know, she's, <laughs> going, cool. she's going with it and, it, and it's all fire. Right. So I want to ask you about social. How do you feel as an author? Is that a game you have to play? You don't have to play it? What's up? I would say have to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I started the Instagram. I got on Instagram just to promote the book uh, in late 2017. Okay. I didn't want to be on Instagram. I was on Facebook, but just as myself. Right. And apparently, you look like a Facebooker. <laughs> <laughs> but appa apparently, what happens is, if you have a Facebook page for a company or whatever, or like this book, like the way the algorithm works in Facebook, is no, almost no one. Yeah. You have to pay to play. Like mm -hmm. almost no one sees it. But with yeah. Instagram, pay, pay to play. with Instagram, I'm sure it's going to end up that way. Mm -hmm. But right now, it's, it's not. It's kind of. It's kind of yeah. getting that way. Yeah. So. Um, I uh, just built a, an Instagram following early on and, and, and tried to connect with people through Instagram as well. And, and I did. Actually, Peanut Butter Wolf, who wrote the forward to this book, yeah. uh, became a fan. He was one of the first people to follow me on Instagram. Mm. And, and and he would always comment. Right and now. this guy's like a famous DJ producer, record mm. label owner. We own Stone Throw Records. So it's, it was really cool to see him, uh, you know, supporting that way. I'm following so, you right now, bro. Yeah. No excuses. Yeah, I'm following you too. No All right, cold. So it's at cold chillin book. Hey, yeah, yeah, I just followed there you. you. Go. Yeah. But the whole point, with, yeah. we a squad. There we come is. with everybody. Of course. <laughs> Boom. Yeah, make That's sure y'all follow support. All right, so the book signing. You said is where? The book signing is at Art Form Studio. Am I plugged in? Oh, it's maybe it's my headphones. Mm. Right when you did that, the okay, yeah, there it goes. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. Uh, Art Art Form Studio in Highland Park. You know, here in Los Angeles. Uh, I know where Highland Park is. Friday, this Friday, November 1st, 7.30 p.m. 
Nice. It's going to be a discussion and book signing with myself. Cut Chemist. He was in Jurassic 5. I'll be okay. there, bro. Yeah, I've heard about that. Yeah, and yeah, Peanut Butter Wolf, that, and we're flying Marley Marl out from New York. You posted it already? Yeah. You posted the uh, flyer? Yeah, yeah, there's a flyer in there somewhere. Got it, I see yeah. it. And then on the 14th of November, I'm going to be in Brooklyn. Shout out Brooklyn. Yeah. Shout out to Brooklyn. Brooklyn. At I've seen Powerhouse that. Arena, uh, doing the same thing with Masta Ace, who was a recording artist for Cold Chillin Records and a member of the Juice Crew. And he is from Brooklyn, so that's pretty cool. When we pull up, don't act like you don't know us. Right. All right? We gonna don't be give like, us that. Yeah. All right. So you feel me? We need hey, pictures yeah. and selfies. No selfies. We need pictures and, and all that. So last question before we take a break. Um, it's kind of weird, but vocabulary. Uh-huh. Um, just personally, nothing, nothing to do with the book, nothing to do with uh, hip hop, but just vocabulary. Um, I know we have a lack of knowledge. I know LP spoke to that, but often, and it's just my opinion, mm-hmm. I feel like there's a lack of vocabulary uh-huh. and people are using very minimal words to express themselves. Mm-hmm. And, you know, um, not only is it frustrating them because they're not properly expressing themselves. Sorry to repeat that. Yeah. But the audience isn't understanding them. So we're just talking about rap. No, we're rap. talking about no, just no hip hop, okay. no rap. We're talking about strictly vocabulary. Just people talking, just everyday people, people communicating, talking. Okay. conversing on a day to day basis. Yeah, yeah. You know, maybe with an element of anger to it, just to add, you uh-huh. know, some drama. Yeah. But I want to hear your take on the vocabulary we use every day to express ourselves. What's your opinion on that? Well, I mean, I. I'm a college graduate, but I, every single day I look up the meaning, the definition of words mm-hmm. just as part of my daily just you have process. To, yeah. Anytime someone uses a word or writes a word or I see I read a word that even if it's a word I see all the time and I'd be embarrassed to even tell anybody mm-hmm. I don't know exactly what that means, yeah. I would I will look it up. And it's you, it takes one second to one do second. Right. on the Internet. You don't even have to literally google google will give you the definition without you even having to click on a link now right so i just do that so i can so i'm building my vocabulary every day i'm 41 years old you know so like i I guess that's maybe a good habit (laughs) to to have (laughs) i I asked that because um a stat was brought to me and they asked me to share it with the audience but the people of poverty race of course does not matter Mm -hmm. um but they said it's a 32 million word slash phrase gap between the people of oh, poverty okay. and the people of money yeah. Yeah. you know so that's something that i've focused on because i'm an avid reader that's some literature is something i love to do in my free time right. you know so that that's build my built my vocabulary over time right and i see it's not the most common thing yeah. you know and people are more willing to misunderstanding they are to understand yeah, yeah. so that's why i just wanted to ask you as an author i have so many questions for you yeah. hopefully i can get personal with you, you know yeah. pause with the dm or whatever however we stay in contact right. but i would love to stay in contact with you and if i have any questions the floor is yours all right i appreciate it for sure <laughs> yeah i mean yeah. you really pretty much summed up everything for me yeah. this is a great conversation yeah. I do want you to ultimately give your information again just one more time. Yeah. Um, okay. Really, the Instagram? At Cold Chillin' Book. Yeah. Because this is a book about Cold Chillin'. <laughs> the book itself is called Going Off, but I came up with the Instagram before I had the title for the book. So it's at Cold Chillin' Book. <laughs> okay. Look at that word. You know what, Ben? Uh, let me ask you this question real quick. Yeah. Um, what is your, who is your favorite artist from Cold Chillin' Records and what, fav- and what favorite album? Um, that's deep man I don't know I I think I'd have to say if you were to only listen to one to get a good overview of the label you would listen to In Control Volume 1 by Marley Marl Marley Marl was the original producer for Cold Chillin' Records Mm -hmm. and so this is really a compilation that has almost everybody who was on the label on this one album so you have Bismarcky doing a duet with Heavy D, who was not on the label, but then you also have Master Ace, you have Big Daddy Kane, Cool G Rap, Craig G, who technically wasn't on the label, but he was in the Juice Crew. It's complicated. I talk about it in the book. Um, and Roxanne Chante and MC Shan. And so that would give you a good overview of what Cold Chillin' was like in 1988 is when that record came out, basically that first push for the label. And then... Um, 
I don't know. I could, I mean, the, f- the first album by every one on the label is a good go-to. So the first album by by Bismarcky is called Going Off, which is what the book is named after. That's a really good That's one fire. to start with. That's fire. The first Big Daddy Kane album is Long Live the Kane. That's mm. the one where he's sitting fire. on the throne like a I Roman god while women feed titles. him grapes and apples. Shout out to women. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Women stay away from fruit, okay? Please. <laughs> and yeah. then uh, Master Ace, um, Take a Look Around, where um, is a really good one too. And I don't know, I could just go on and on, but there are a lot of good records on, on, on Cold Chillin'. Everybody, There's a lot of good everybody. records on Kanye's album, too. Are you yeah. listening? Come on, Sean. Okay. Oh, that, yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> I haven't listened to it yet. <laughs> um, Before but, you go, though, this is a little bit yeah. off subject from yeah, hip hop. Yeah. You gotta explain to us this picture with the dog. Who's the oh dog? yeah, that's funny. What's the name. So what happened was uh, Fiona Bloom, who's the publicist for the book, said we need prom- we need uh, press photos of you. And so I went into my front yard and had my girlfriend <laughs> take a- one photo of me, just me, and one photo of me holding my my dog Droopy, who you see there. Okay. And then <laughs> and then I said Droopy. you can give give both photos and they can use whichever one they want and the droopy one ended up sticking so that, so that's that's droopy our dog and then we have another dog named mama bear who doesn't like being held so okay. i didn't hold her we love animals here. yeah i love show. dogs <laughs> yeah it's so goofy it's funny whatever shout out to dogs friends family everybody that's tuning in man yes. you know ben Mur, you know the love yes, you know me are. you know we here every sunday Tune in. Please yes. tell somebody. Yes. Like, comment, share, subscribe. All that. All that buzz shit. Just mm-hmm. interact with us, man. And yeah. we good people and we love y'all. What up, LP? Yeah, man. It was a great interview, man. Great energy. And and this was really history. And it's not even just history. It's just great energy, man. But I appreciate Ben Merlis to stopping by to the show and just tell us about this book, man. I'm going to show this book one more time, man. This there is history. Is. You know what I mean? Since we the only hip-hop show since I created the name. You know what <laughs> I mean? But this is history. If you don't know anything yeah. about this, kill yourself. <laughs> no, 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 not not seriously. Kill yourself, like, literally. No, buy the book and then read the book, and, right. then, and then you will know about it, and yeah, then you won't course. have to kill yourself. <laughs> you lose yourself. And, and you, you lose yourself. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> yeah, man. Um, Good catch. Awesome. Yeah. So. Um, Thanks for having me. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was gonna actually say that. You uh-huh. know what I mean? Appreciate you coming, bo- coming through. You know what I mean? We'll have to have you again, man. If you yeah. have another book coming out. Yeah. Are, you, are you working any another on another book, or No, I, I'm not, but I'm I have a few in mind, so hopefully I'll get one of those going. Yeah, most definitely. So yeah. there you have it. It's the only hip hop show with the only hip hop with Barry Merlin. So shout out to Tyson <laughs> Crookmine. He couldn't make it tonight. Um he had a car flash. He had to switch cars and everything. So we're gonna get him back in the show, um, to the show. But it was a good thing that we played all his sh- uh, all his songs because you know you never know who we who might show up to the show. You know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, stay tuned for next week. And um, we out of here.